welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a while, but today we will be playing Resident Evil Zero. Happy Halloween. It is October 21st, or sorry, 31st, 2020. Uh, I finally was able to catch the last game I was missing, which is Resident Evil 3 Remake on sale. So I finally completed this collection and figured, you know what? It's time. It's time to do a proper... Resident Evil Marathon. Now, I, I know all these games. I have a general idea of where the story goes. I'm not an expert. I don't have it, the plot memorized. But I do know a few things. But mostly, this is an entirely new experience for me. So, uh, you guys can feel free to come along, and I hope you enjoy the ride. Let's, uh, let's go easy. I've heard this game's harder than the original, and since I am a noob, I'll go ahead and take it easy. I do want to do things chronologically. I'm just a little anal like that, but that's why I'm going to do it here, so... Here we go, guys. Buckle up. Resident Evil Zero. Oh, yeah. First, we gotta choose our options. I already got this stuff set up. I like to go subtitles off. I'm sorry if that bothers some of you guys, but literally everybody else turns them on. So I like to be the odd guy out. We'll go with the alternate control type, which is updated. Uses the joysticks. The original uses tank controls. And I go with the Y as opposed to original because it's the HD version. So might as well enjoy the widescreen. Okay, here we go, guys. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City. A solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island. An island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, Little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. July 23rd, 1998. Hmm. Do you think so, too? Yeah. I do about it. Hold off for a while. I wonder how those are react to this. Squeeze me. <laughs> Random Sephiroth dude. Dancing on top of a mountain? Ooh, no, that is just nasty. No thanks. Death by giant leeches can't be nice. It's Mundus. as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Ooh, gooey! Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cullen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old. 
Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoners to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. rain <laughs> maybe maybe not you never know the ecliptic express bound to be only pleasant things here the door to safety is shut there is no turning back well aside from turning the game off <laughs> okay here we go so you aim with L1. It's a little weird, but I'll get used to it. You can aim up and down, but you can't turn side to side. Well, you can a little bit. You can a little. Gets a little tanky there. But that's a uh, that's just the alternate aiming. Well, let's see what we can find here. Anything back here? Luggage is strewn about the cabin. Seats are stained red with blood. Says so the same thing. Okay. Well, that's that's always a good sign. So let's go ahead. Let's see what there is to see. I suppose you head up to the front of the train, right? Ah, the classic door opening segments. Loading screens. They used to be a thing. <laughs> this is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? <gasps> well, he's seen better days. Hey, now. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Brains. Oh, boy. We've got a few zombies here. Oh, X. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. I thought so, too. There we go. Reload, lady. Okay. Uh, I suppose we should check them. They might have things. Oh, just saying the same thing. Okay. Guess I'll check this guy over here. None on him either. Okay. Just, just checking. You never know. Have to proceed with caution. I have played a little bit of this, but it's been a while, so I don't remember all the particulars. The rain outside is quickly turning into a downpour. Well, you don't say. Really nothing there, huh? All right. What do we got here, huh? Uh, in here? Room 202? I'll check every room. I'll be thorough, guys. As thorough as I can be. Uh, we got a bathroom here. Doesn't seem to be anything of use. Oh, here's a shiny. First aid spray. I will take that. Looks like we got more dead people. Something on the ground. Parabellum. Handgun ammo. That'll definitely come in handy. And we got a note here. Passenger's diary. July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arclay Mountain Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking le what's left of the abandoned experiment. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of B.O.W. Type Y-139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with Type uh, Y-139. There's still so much we don't know about responses to the 
crustacean T-virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute doses of tea bring about remarkable, size, remarkable changes in solidity, size, multiplication of internal toxins, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of shell of the shell results <coughs> yeah, sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility, certain areas becoming exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. carapace. This lab we are going to, were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. June 19th, <laughs> a long diary. The day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. If it can't be the virus, can it? If it is... No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on the investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. Well, that's uh, quite foreshadowing. I'd say uh, it didn't go too smoothly for you guys. This poor guy must have been attacked in his sleep. His body is covered in slime. Well, that's attractive. And there's nothing there, nothing here. Yeah, it would be shiny if there was anything, right? So we'll head back out. Room 202 checks out. Nothing but more corpses. And uh, apparently a lot of notes about a research facility, which is uh, problematic. It's problematic. Okay, squares and menu. Here's our items we got. We got the pistol equipped. The handgun. Uh, personal inventory here. What do we got in here? Oh, it's just a it's just a box. You don't need to use this now. <laughs> okay. All right. Examine the handgun. Ooh, it looks pretty. What's that say? Stars. Stars issue. Uh, looks like some kind of 1911 design. Looks like it could fit a suppressor. Okay. You can combine things. We got handgun ammo here. Uh, medical spray, of course. What else we got up here? Map. That's what I was looking at. What does our map look like? Yeah, it's just these two rooms right here. And then we go to the front. Or try to. Okay. Sorry if this seems a little redundant like, guys. But, uh, player manual, passenger diary court order for transportation, they went over that in the story, options are, yeah, they're the same options, okay, alright, just checking through the menu, guys, don't mind me, don't mind me, uh, we've got to check out room, uh, 201 here, we did 202, now it's 201's turn, oh, some nice music playing, we got something on the corner here, ink, uh, ink ribbons are used for saving at typewriters. Still can't open medicine. Yes, yeah, like this typewriter right here. Uh, not yet. Let me uh, finish investigating. We've got an herb here. I will take the green herb. It's good for our, our health. We're bound to pick up a get shot a few times here. And we got some more handgun ammo. That's definitely useful. Definitely take that. And we got another journal to read here. So let's check this out. Investigation orders. Stained with blood. Some sections are illeg illeg ill ill <laughs> illegible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City in the Arclay Mountains lies our company's management training facility. It was shut down years ago. Now we are conducting a preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. First investigation unit is airdrop, air deed on site, and opening the investigation. I want your team to provide support. Following orders. Guard Wilmbark Wilmbark and first levels Gat O unit. <laughs> the rest is torn and unreadable. Well, that seems like uh, another member of the investigation team. So that seems what uh, this train was heading out for, to investigate the facility of Barkley. Doesn't appear to be anything else there now. We'll put this ink ribbon in use. Or data. I'll overrate my old one. It's been a while. Save successful. Rebecca, zero one, cabin. 
Okay. So, now do we use that ink? Okay, we got five more ink ribbons. Everything else seems to be okay. We're, we haven't used up all of our space yet. Okay. Exit. I'm still not sure what that personal stuff is for. But I guess I'll find out as time goes on. I don't remember all the doohickeys and mechanics here. We do have a limited inventory space. That's part of managing, uh, you know, the survival aspects of your survival horror experience. Still raining out there, huh? Alright. What else we got here? We got a door that appears inaccessible. Train employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. The train key. Yes, well, I might want to start the train. Who knows? And I believe my inventory is full now, but that's okay. That's not a star's uniform. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around, so... I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Oh boy. Edward! Are you alright? What happened? Worse than... Must be careful, Rebecca. The forest is full of z zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters. Uh, uh. Ooh, like a zombie dog. I do remember the dogs from the original game. I played a little bit of the original years ago. I have to wait for him to come to the screen here. Okay, he appears to be dead. Oh my. Oh, no, 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 no. Let, let me go. Let me go. Seems two shots are enough to take care of these things. But they forced me to backtrack a little here. Edward, you were so happy just a few hours ago. He's holding something. I will take all the handgun ammo, yes. Uh, how are we doing handgun ammo? 65. That's quite a bit of handgun ammo. <laughs> but we're doing pretty good. Pretty good so far. Okay, so we got the conductor's room here. It's locked and can't be opened. The door reads, conductor's office. I guess the train key doesn't work for that, huh? It's locked. It's a card reader here. The door can be opened if you have the right card. Well, I don't even have a card at the moment, so... And so we've hit our first dead end. Um... Check the map. Yeah, we got a save point in there. I could save again, but I'm not gonna. We didn't do much. Killed a couple dogs, that's about it. So we'll go back, see what we can find the other way, maybe. This seems to be the next logical step, right? There's nothing over there, because that's where the rooms are, that's right. Here we go, heading back, guys, heading back, nice and spooky. Lack of music so far. But it's, hey! Okay. They do seem to go down pretty easy. Uh, I don't remember that being the case with the original game. Reload. But, uh, seems to be the case here. What's this? A broken ladder. It's of no use right now. But, I might want to take a mental note of that. I get the feeling. 
it could come in handy. So we got stairs to go up. We might as well check upstairs before we check the other cars. I mean, it seems logical enough to me. Uh, we got another herb. I'm going to leave it there because my herbery is full. Oh my goodness. What the heck is this stuff? They look like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime has formed around them. That's encouraging. Okay, so upstairs is off limits. Uh, we have a telephone that uh, we don't seem to be able to interact with. And some herbs in case I get hurt. Speaking of which, how is my health? Still good, I'm fine. It's that blinking thing up in the corner. You don't get a HUD. You have to pause. Which is fine. So interesting stuff so far. We're in for a lot of intrigue, I reckon. Only one way to go. We have to go back. Not back the way we came. But back towards the rear of the, the uh, train here. Maybe we'll be able to find the conductor and get his keys. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cullen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people. We've also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. 23, that's a lot of people. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! On the bright side, though, if he's an effective killer, he might come in handy against zombies. He probably wouldn't, would not be useless. Oh yeah, this is actually the first car we came in. So we're not even really going back yet. Next one. Ah, oh, the train key came in handy. I never even checked this door. I just proceeded... Throw it away? Alright. Huh? Oh. Excuse me, you! Excuse me! Now I have to turn around and face him. There. Anyone else want to try me? Huh? Huh? Alright. Now he did bite us, but... I think we're still okay. I mean, we're just getting started here. So I ain't about to hit the reset button on just on that attack. But we do have an herb if we need it. Not a herb, you weirdos. It's an herb. <laughs> okay, new territory. It's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. <laughs> All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Okay, so we've got a uneasy alliance with Billy Boy here. The automatic door. There's no power now, so it won't open. So if we power the door, we're good there. He says he's going to stay behind for now. Oh, we got a letter to read. Ready for more reading? Notice to supervisors. When closing the dining car, supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic door after ensuring all staff have evacuate, have vacated the car. The main automatic door's power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Inspections will take place when the train is garaged. After inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Umbrella Corp Maintenance Department. Alright. Well, they were just telling us that the switch is on the roof to open the door. So, that's what we'll have to do to get in there.
Okay, guys, I am actually going to call it right here for now. I meant to call it down there, but uh, it got away from me. So I'm just going to end this video. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, until next time, take it easy.